Okay, so my daughter has finished building the humanoid version of the IronBot, and we are about to power it up for the first time. So when we power it up, it should go to its initial position. So go ahead and hit the switch. And there it is, it's initialized. So we are currently running it off of the AC adapter because we're going to be playing with this for a little bit. And um, so we're not using the battery back. So I'm going to start up the app on my phone. So this is the app starting up. If you click on the little UFO that says click, it kind of runs you through a tutorial. We are going to go and click on him, and we're going to scan and look for the Bluetooth. So, that is the robot. And we're connected, so we have eyes. Make sure my volume is up. And unfortunately, my volume control is right here in the middle of my phone, so my phone might not be the best choice for this. Um, but I need to figure out how to English. English. Alright. Um, okay. Well, so one of the things we can do until we figure that out is we can actually control. So we can. Okay, maybe I should have gone through the tutorial a little bit more. Oh, it seems to be disconnected from the Bluetooth. Why are we disconnected? So there we go. Okay, so now we got some movement there. We can go up and down. And if we come to the other one, we can go in and out. We can go to his head, we can make his head turn. We can make him go up on his feet. Let's do the other one. Oh, good thing I have fast reflexes. Let's bring this him back down. There we go. So I'm kind of just playing around with the, just playing around with some of the different options in here. I, I got it out of humanoid mode, and it doesn't seem to want to take my. There we go. We're back at humanoid. So if we, no, we don't want that. All right. So let's see if we can go back. Let's scan for it again. It's connected, but I'm not sure how to get this into English mode. So we will play around with this a little bit more. We'll see if we can get a smaller phone that will fit into the holder and be in the center because I'm afraid if I put this in offset, it's going to interfere with that arm. So we'll do a little bit of playing around and we'll come back.